Jonah, you can intro us, and I intro us the last, like, three times. Hello! Welcome to a Game Devs Play Games. I regret you introing this episode. <laughs> I'm totally gonna include the part where you're like, you can start this one, because I started the last one. <laughs> yep, good. That's what happens okay, well, when you get too much guys. control. Welcome back, guys. Don't, don't mind Chris here. He's... Today, we are playing Chroma Squad. It is game of uh, Power Rangers. Just... It was funny, when uh, Jen and I were playing Shelter, uh -huh. um, which is released way before this, Yeah. Um, we, uh, at one point, we were just like having a hard time with the game, and we couldn't like figure out what to do. Yeah. So uh, we looked up another Let's Player, because we were like, is the game like, broken? Like, yeah, like honestly, not, we couldn't figure no. out what was going on with the beginning right. of the game. And uh, the first video she found was like of a straight up Russian dude being like, hello, welcome to my channel. Today we are playing a game of shelter. I think it is a game of a skunk. I am not sure. <laughs> it, it was just like this guy. He's he is perfect. This guy is the best. <laughs> should, should we like link him here somewhere? Be like, I, I, I if I can find name. him, yeah, maybe. Yeah, we I'll can put, put him in the card. Yeah, I'll put him in the yeah. Um, but uh, so we're looking <laughs> to actually get into the game. We're, we were looking at the crafting system, and uh, it's actually really interesting. I mean, it functions pretty much like I would expect it to, yeah. right? So, like, certain components can make s certain things. Uh, which, crafting systems, that makes sense. It's yeah. actually similar to how we're doing it in Fish Lap right now. Um, but you were saying there's a chance for it to fail? I think, or maybe it's when you deconstruct things, there's a chance you might not get any materials out of Well, it. like, okay, so yeah, there's the recycle thing, and obviously we don't have any components that we can just tear yeah. apart right now. Um, I was trying making a pair of fake gloves to see what happens. Yeah, well, do we oh, want oops. health, or do we want... Counter. I think I want Let's health. Do health. Because obviously we had a hard time with that. <laughs> oh, nice. Okay, and then it just immediately equipped to someone, which and is then, actually yep. nice. And then it'll show you what the stats are, who might Ooh, need it the most. Alien totally I think needs alien it. Alien absolutely yeah. needs it. And right now he doesn't have. Oh, he has fake boots. No, that's no, what I just made. That's who he just made. Does it show what he had before? Uh, he might not have anything right now. He might not have anything right now. I'm curious about well, that. No, we'll go to your recycle bin. You'll actually find out. Okay. Yeah, he did. So he had rain, rain, boots. rain boots. So it's interesting that they don't show us what he had before, but so, ultimately they're still showing yeah, us the differences recycle. in stats. This is part of the fun. So hit recycle. Yeah, because we don't you, need this anymore. Yep. Oh, okay. Wow. We actually... We got everything. I, except for the last one. Except for the mystery item. So we can make another one. Yep. Sweet. Nice. Okay. Uh, I believe she also... Yeah, she only oh, this, has... And this has skill uh, regen as well. Boom! Because our okay. last pair of boots actually added 24 health. Ooh, okay. Yeah, we had... We had okay, a... so it has 50%, 50%, 30, 30 15 15. for a random? A random, yep. And there's been some times I've got nothing. Okay, so that time it was 50, 50 out of that. Yep. So I can't make anything else. I actually really like that, though. I think yeah, it's, you know, uh... um, I kind of stopped using the crafting system after a while, though, because I think what? the items end up buying end up being better, at least at the time. So do you think that's an intentional choice? Do you think it's... Th they... that I don't know, though. I don't know if I got far enough to actually get the good stuff. Oh, okay. Um, in what, crafting. What would be interesting is if, like, you... If the more you craft, if you unlock, like, better tiers of things, mm, which might... I... Might be like if we hire the people. Yeah, that's possible. Um, I also find it interesting that we can just drop two hundred dollars and get like a variety, variety of uh, yep. crafting materials, which I think is kind of fun. Yeah, oh, yeah. I've, I've done it a couple times. I wanted to upgrade the mech. Um, <gasps> so let's go ahead and let's go to our message, though. We do have someone oh, yeah. who has a message for us. For, for great, great justice. justice. Hello, Geek Squad. My name is Edward, and I'm a huge fan of your show. It's always a highlight of my week when I get to sit down with my daughter, Ariana, and watch your show. The adventures that you have and stories you have to tell get us excited, and she always loves all of the fun and over-the-top action. I can't tell you how much... I can't tell you how of often. often. I read it as <laughs> of 10, and I was like, that doesn't make we sense. We should make a show called Chris Reads. And it's just like, uh, uh, <sighs> Is that why you're jumping at, at the reading things out loud so much? Sometimes. <laughs> She's run me down, yelling the name of her favorite movies, insisting that I'm the monster that you are fighting. <laughs> That's... Hmm. <laughs> yeah, that's kind of weird. <laughs> Since we both like the show, I get to share my fandom with my child, and having that time to share is fantastic. It is. I would know. I would 
I know it would really make my little one's day if you could send a reply for her. Thank you for reading and never stop fighting. Ah, uh, that's a great one. Yeah. Dude, I'm gonna send a, should I send a sign oh, picture? Dude, is, that pre is that pretentious though? No way. You don't think so? No way. Dude. I guess sending just a picture is a little bit yeah, more pretentious. Yeah, you're just like, uh, like, look at me. There's a photo. No, I no, no. Gonna... Oh, I almost hit the wrong thing. Oh, okay, no. there we go. Yeah. So that's an interesting mechanic. Do you think there's ever a reason why we would want to just send? Well, your fans and oh, right? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Weeks. Good. Thank you so much. My daughter was so excited to see the reply you sent and the picture of the cast you sent with it is framed on her wall. Oh, she won't stop telling everyone about her new friends in, in Geek Squad. Thank you again for helping these special moments. Never stop fighting. Oh. Yeah, there's some really nice ones, man. That's it's really fun. cute. I like that oh, a lot. Yeah, no, it's really great. Um, Is there a point see. where like we get hundreds and hundreds of them and Not just, like that I no know of. They, they usually make it pretty manageable, mm. um, so that the game doesn't become a messaging game. <laughs> I know. Um, I don't know if there's anything else we really want to look at. Do we want to try and buy in? new weapons or? I guess we could see what our options are. So we could buy a sword and a toy pistol. I feel like these are already things that we kind of have. We have one of each. We have 150. We did make some money off of or that. Or we could use it to increase our studio. Ooh, let's do that. I like that better. So go back. Go so we go to studio. 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 Uh, okay, so shop partnership, 20% discount. Nah. Microphone, audience gain from combat and skills. Uh, crafting rate. Well, too late for that. Audience gain from director's instructions. Not bad. Actors, I think we should do that. Yep, so just activate it. So now every episode minus off another $25. And, and bigger studio. Also bigger Ooh. studio for 1000 Now Ooh, that's And it's cool. also minus 100 for every episode. Oh, and it even gives us a preview. Yep. Oh, that's so tantalizing. Tantalizing. Yeah. Oh, no, it absolutely is. It's like, what choice should I make? Well, I think we should do a... Yeah, we, yeah. we strive to yeah. do these. Yeah, so. we, yeah we, we should definitely... Boom. All right. Next episode. All right. So in this episode, an innocent bystander will be kidnapped by evil monsters. But should this victim be a boy or a girl? Also, laundry problems. What? You'll see. You'll see. And so so that's one. And we can look through all the episodes right now. Oh, we can choose now. Yep. Nice. Barrel and roll. GDPG Inc. has an argument with a stunt actor who does not want to use proper costume, you, yeah. but they have to record the episode anyway. Yeah. Oh, that's fantastic. Uh, fat alien terrorizes the city, and Cerebro sends Geek Squad to deal with this threat, but somebody has a dentist appointment. I like his beer gut. Yep. So which one do I do? Do I just go in order? I don't know. Oh, it, the name was actually Fatty Alien. I kind of yep. like this. I want to do this one. All right, let's do Barrel and Roll. All right, defeat a boss monster with a finishing move and attack boss monster with with the lead with three lead times. Three that's times, an yeah. interesting one. Okay, and that's that sounds like a pretty simple battle. So are we just battling the the boss straight up? Um, no. Well, I mean, yes and no. Like you'll you'll see. All right, why are you wearing a barrel instead of your costume, Mister? <laughs> Got kind of like a pirate thing going on. Yer, I'm a high value stunt actor and your silly costumes are beneath me. Oh, this is me. Wait, what? We have a contract for this episode. So get back to the dressing room and wear whatever the costume is in there. <laughs> we will even let you teleport effect as long as you're properly dressed. We'll move to the set and start recording with your chip with you while you change. Aye, aye. Called it. <laughs> <laughs> so. All right, let's move now. I feel like he's not actually going to change. This the the. Is that the feeling you're getting. Feeling I'm getting. Yeah. Oh, we actually go to a park. Mm-hmm. Because remember, one of the complaints they had was that they don't change locations enough. Patience is a virtue, isn't it? Or is it? A few moments later. <laughs> Damn it, guy! Still not in the proper costume? Yeah, no, you can't record like that, my friend! <laughs> Yarr, this is my costume. I'm the barrel man, and I'm going to roll over you. God. <laughs> oh, fantastic. Yep, this is where you start getting some new enemies. Oh, he comes out of the portal potty. Perfect. Okay, that's enough. You're going to roll back where you came from. Just don't roll over us, boss. Ooh, that'd be kind of fun if we could, like, 
to like lure him over to roll in Dude, certain directions. It, it, it's nuts, man. All right, squad's turn. Make it. I could just transform right away, yeah. but I don't want to do that if I don't have to, right? No, you don't have to. You don't have to. I mean, I get like I get a health boost, so ultimately, yeah, it's, I save it a lot of the time too. Yeah, I think I'm gonna do that. Um, let's see. You are yellow. Is that nice? I think they prefer like what country they're from. You know, well, I'm thinking I should probably use teamwork with him. Yeah, it would be a bad idea. I think I'll put him. A bad idea. I think I'll put him here. I think that'll be optimal. 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 You're optimal. Uh, let's go a couple more minutes. Cup. Oh, you can't. Oh, he's just out of range. Yeah. Well. <laughs> Uh, of course he is. Now you can, like, move around, well, though. Huh? Next round. <laughs> <sighs> it's okay. This guy doesn't even need the help. Dang it, leader guy. <laughs> Thank you for being so good, leader. It's okay. Start dealing some damage. So here's a question for mm -hmm. you. A lot of times in, in strategy games like this... Oh, this guy's out of range, too. <laughs> Man, <laughs> that although I could though. probably, oh, no, oh, I can't use this gun until, yeah, until you make games. <laughs> man, I just gotta make games, man. That's all I gotta do. That's all you gotta Everyone's do. out of rage. I made the worst <laughs> choice possible. Uh, I made a huge uh, mistake. I guess I could have seen what the range of all these guys <laughs> yeah, were had I just liked them. Yeah, it's impossible to see. <laughs> Oversight on my part. Yeah, it's alright. I didn't think about it either, though. So, okay, here's here's a question mm -hmm. for you. Um, a lot of the times in in strategy games um the optimal strategy easily becomes turtling up and letting all the enemies come to you sure do you think that this is probably the case in this game there doesn't seem to be much discouraging you from doing that no and if anything it helps you because then you're taking less hits as a player yeah having enemies have ranged weapons certainly um messes with that yeah yeah it sort of negates a bit of that issue yeah a bit uh, but um, I don't know if it's solved. Later that. in the game, you'll see they start putting a lot of enemies out there for you to face, like a mm. lot. So at that point, it just sort of it like just doesn't even matter. Okay. At least for me, like I, I was able, I was usually turtle when I played this game, and I usually did pretty okay. Like I never lost anybody. Um, oh. Oh, yeah. oh, oh, the beeves no can't do here. anything. Beeves. Oh, you beeves. Now wherever you hit make games, by the way, everyone will crowd around you. Oh. Whoever you hit it towards. Yeah, I've used that a couple of times to like make the attack better. Well, whatever. I'll make him I'll make Beeves go over here. Although then the guy will probably barrel roll. He'll do a barrel roll. Yeah, that's true. That's probably not a good thing. <laughs> that's okay. We got this. Well at least kill this guy, right? Nope. Well ooh, we need counterattack. But now we can do this. <laughs> but this time, right? Boom! Look at that. Boom. Okay, well, I guess we can end the episode here. Yeah. Since I'm getting my butt kicked. You are getting um, your butt kicked. <laughs> so, question Oh, the... he hit two of your... Oh, God. Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> question of the day. Why did Chris do this? Ooh. Make games. Make games. That's why you do this. Yeah. Game devs, engage. Um, okay, so... This is, I believe, our final episode for right, right now. now. So definitely vote if you want to see more. Yeah. Um, so far, what are your, your general thoughts about Chroma Squad? You know, I, for me, it's like, I don't know if it's the perfect tactics game, but the but, theme... But maybe it, there's the question of, does it need to be? Right, and the thing, I think the theme at the end of the day really shines through in this game, mm -hmm. and it just makes it for such a fun play. Like, there's so many tongue-in-cheek references, and it just kind of makes you remember what Power Rangers originally started off as, and that's what's really enjoyable about, about, about this game. And it actually has a pretty decent story in the end. So, yeah, that's one thing I'm. I think I'm the most curious yeah, about. Yes, so the story gets kind of crazy, but it gets really good. And in general, I think this is a really good homage to the people who watched Power Rangers as a kid. And I think it's just a really fun game in general. I don't think it's too difficult for just the casual gamer to pick up either. I think that's one of its its good uh, qualities. Actually, yes. is I feel like it is very easy to just pick up and play. Exactly. Um, and it doesn't require a lot of like prior knowledge to actually understand what's right. going exactly. on. Right. Exactly. Um, there's it's sort of like a beautiful simplicity to the game. I think. Yes, in, I in would agree. And at times it can get difficult. Like they'll, they'll what they'll do is they'll enemy spam you. That's mm. really where they get you. 
Um, and that makes sense. And lay them on thick, because that's what the show did, right? You'd have like right. a million putties you'd be fighting. So so maybe that's the question of the day. Do you think that this game um, fit this, the theme and the style they were really achieve, trying to achieve, right? With like kind of fitting that Power Rangers feel. I mean, obviously the aesthetic, it's like spot on, right? right? Um, but as far as like the dialogue goes and the design of the, the monsters and the combat, like... Where do you think maybe their biggest strength with meeting, with like fitting along with the Power Rangers theme is? And where do you think their biggest failure is? Um, so far from what we've seen, yeah, right? Yeah, exactly. Um, yeah, I, yeah. I, that's, I think that's... Yeah, guys, so please, again, I know we've said it before, but please make sure to vote. If you want to see us finish up Chroma Squad, we will more than happy do that. We Absolutely. love this game. It's so much fun. Um, remember, there'll be other options too, so make sure you click those as well. And I guess we'll see you in the next episode. Yeah. Yeah. Whatever it might be. Yeah. Thanks for watching, everybody. See you guys. Bye.